All right, so we're going to talk about unit prices or unit cost today. And hey, my lights just went off. Give me a moment. And this is a great topic. I actually, my wife and I talk about this one at home frequently because she'll go shopping at the grocery store and tell me what a great deal she got on something. And I'll say, yeah, but what was the price per ounce on that? And is that really a good deal when you break it down on a price per ounce? I mean, the, I might have a little tiny box of cereal and it costs a dollar and the big box costs three dollars. Does that mean the little box is a better deal? Well, it depends. How heavy is that little box? Is it a better deal on a price per ounce? You can't just compare the, the overall cost of two items. You have to look at the unit cost, the cost per one ounce or one item. Okay, so unit cost. How much does one item cost? That's the idea of a unit cost. So to actually calculate the unit cost, what we'll do is the total price divided by number of items. There we go. So unit cost equals the total price divided by the number of items. So watch this guy in action. A three pack of popsicles costs two dollars and four cents. What is the unit price? How much does one popsicle cost? Well, this, you know, I'm estimating here it's going to be about what, 60, 65, 68 cents, somewhere in that realm. Let's see, it's a division problem. It's the total price, which is 204, divided by the number of items. And I'm buying, what, three items, a three pack. Three goes into 26 times. That gives me an 18. Remainder of two. Three goes into 24 eight times. So the cost of one popsicle would be 68 cents. That's the unit price or the unit cost, the cost of one item. All right, which is the better deal? A four pack of golf balls for 248 or a five pack of golf balls for 318? The trick to this guy is to get the unit cost of each of them and then decide which one's the better deal. So it's all about the, excuse me, unit cost. So this is going to be 248 divided by four versus 315 divided by five. Well, 4 goes into 24 six times, and it goes into 8 two times. So this guy is going to be costing me 62 cents per golf ball. Let's check the other one out. 5 goes into 36 times, and 5 goes into 15 three times. This one costs 63 cents per golf ball. So which one's the better deal? Would you rather pay 62 cents per golf ball or 63 cents per golf ball? And we're going to, they're the exact same golf balls. So don't tell me, you know, which one's better. So which one is the better price for us? It's this one right here, right? Because this guy's only 62 cents per golf ball. And that is the whole lesson. Okay, there it is. I like that one. This also works for um, cost per ounce. So if you, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> if a pound costs, so you could do it, let's just go with it. If one pound,
<laughs> oh, excuse me. If one pound equals like five dollars, what's the price per ounce? Well, how many ounces are in a pound? This would be five dollars divided by sixteen. That would give your your price per ounce, and that's a really good one when you're shopping. You don't have to actually at the grocery store. If you the little tags, if you look at the little tags, um, the price tags, it'll do that math for you. It has the price per ounce on the tag, or price per pound, or um, price per single item, the unit price. Okay, that's it. Sorry, I kind of went off on a tangent. Bye-bye. Oh,